Hello, my name is Sushan Chuk. I'm a product manager at Basler. Today, I would like to introduce our new Basler interface cards. In addition, this video clarifies which camera interface is most appropriate for a multi-camera system, which components you need for this, and how you build such a system. Interface cards are highly suitable for a wide range of multi-camera applications. For example, warehouse automation that involves both logistics and automated picking processes. Another multi-camera application is quality inspection, such as in the automotive industry, for the inspection of vehicle parts. An example which should be familiar to everyone, sports. During a soccer game, a multi-camera setup allows synchronous acquisition and processing of multiple images. The list of applications is certainly long. But which of the common camera interfaces is the best for the job? USB 3, Core Express, or Gigabit Ethernet? The comparison shows that Geek E is the most suitable interface. Among the advantages of Geek E are longer cable lengths and a simplified setup that can be easily expanded using further network components such as switches. Together with precise time synchronization, this makes the system highly cost efficient. Next, I would like to show you which components you need for multi-camera applications and how to set up the overall system. What we need is a Geek E camera such as our ACE2, matching lenses, for example the Vasa C23 5 megapixel lens, suitable cables, a PC and a Vasa Geek E interface card with four ports and PoE for a single cable solution. The main system components are all available from Vasa and perfectly harmonized. I will show you how to assemble the system via plug and play. For simplicity, I will set up a system with up to four cameras. Let's go through this step by step. First, install the Geek E interface card. Open the case of the computer and insert the Geek E interface card into a free PCIe slot. Then, close the computer. Connect the cameras to the PC. Due to the PoE function, only one cable is used for power supply and triggering. This reduces system complexity. Attach the Basel lens to the camera. Boot the computer. All hardware components are now installed and we can move on to acquire the first live images. Start the pylon viewer. All cameras are immediately recognized and displayed in the software. You don't need to start the SDK separately for each camera. Due to the performance optimization of our Basel Geeky interface cards combined with our Basel performance driver, you don't need to assign the cameras to the Geeky ports or set image sizes. All these settings and much more apply fully automated in Python. As you see, our Basler hardware and software are perfectly harmonized. Now, let's start with acquiring the first live images. Double-click your camera's name in the Devices pane to open the camera connection. In the menu bar, click Camera and choose Continue Shot to get the live images. Focus the lenses to get a sharp image. What at first seemed to be complex turns out to be a lean and integrated image processing system that pushes down costs. For almost every multi-camera application, you will find what you are looking for in our wide portfolio. Thanks for watching.